before coming to Purdue for the MS Bain program, I used to be a software developer. I only worked in Java, and my job only entails sitting behind a desk and coding day in and day out. We wanted to create a functionality that would save you time in creating reports, and a report that could travel well from the machine learning computer to an executive's desk. Something that everybody understood. And we worked with it because coming from uh, me and my teammates, we came from a technical background, so it was easier to kind of go back into that headspace of solving problems through code, but also using analytics to do it. So the project, it was, it's basically an auto-documentation and audit functionality. What it enables you to do, the end result, is right now Python has many, many functions. You can do wonder, wonderful things with it. This, we created a function that you just call a single function, and it will create a report for you that you can present to anybody in a board meeting. So it takes care of formatting, it takes care of any kind of data that you might need from the work that you've done. You do not have to pick and choose, it does it for you. It just makes your life simpler. You do not, you just have to do your work and not worry about how you're going to create that presentation for your boss. We worked very closely with the client to understand what their vision was at first. So Moe Zali was the creator of PyCarrot. He taught himself Python, so he was very clear on what he wanted to do with this functionality. He wanted everybody who did not know the D of data science to be able to understand the report or the experiments that were conducted. So we first of all identified all the important information that any person could need to understand any kind of machine learning experiment. What are you trying to do with that data? And what information do you need to understand that? So once we recognize that, we try to make it as simple as possible and try to avoid all kinds of jargon, no field-specific terminology to ensure that everybody understood that. And, that's, and then we just got down and coded it. So this wasn't really a model-based traditional machine learning problem. We were just trying to add a functionality that could be used by anybody. So in general, a machine learning problem is very specific to a specific say company or specific area or specific problem that you're trying to address. This we created something that everybody could use. So all the other projects that were in the industry practicum course, they could have used our functionality. That's the difference between what we did and what they did. As a business analyst, I can leverage the experience that I already have as a software developer, but now I also have the knowledge to back up any other kind of suggestions that I might have. But I know that I'm prepared to handle whatever comes next.